Hello, good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. My name is Jayatma Vikramanayake. I am the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. It's my pleasure to join you today at the final day of the first ever Generation Connect Youth Summit. First and foremost, I'd like to thank ITU for organizing this important and incredible summit and for having me as a part of this celebration. I also would like to thank the government of Rwanda for hosting this event to support meaningful and effective youth participation in shaping a safe, inclusive digital future for all of us. As many of you are already aware, young people of the world today, like yourselves, are mostly known as the generation of digital natives. With that in mind, there are many expectations that come with the title of digital natives. Young people are often expected to create innovative solutions to solve the complex multidimensional challenges that this world is facing. We are expected to be citizens who bring positive contributions, both in the real world as well as the digital world. We are expected to be the future. But the truth is that young people are already doing all of the above, even without the world's expectations on them. I have witnessed firsthand how young people advocate to end the digital divide, how young people work on local solutions to bring connectivity to all youth so they can all continue their education, and how young people created community-based initiatives to fight discrimination and harms online. Just a few weeks ago, when I had the privilege to be one of the moderators for the Our Digital Future consultation together with the Office of the Envoy on Technology, I heard a lot of these important insights shared by young people from around the world. But I also heard young people's never-ending commitment and passion to take actions in helping to shape the digital future. I find it amazing that despite the different challenges that young people as a generation are facing from all fronts and all aspects of their lives, you still continue to be one of the most resilient agents of change. With all of these qualities, I think it's only right that we refer to young people not only as digital natives, but also as digital leaders. The United Nations truly believes in the power of young people's leadership and their role as equal partners. Young people in all their diversity must be meaningfully engaged if the world is serious in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030. When the UN Youth Strategy was launched three years ago, it aimed to ensure this vision by guiding the UN to be a leading institution that can deliver its work at all levels, not just for young people, but with young people in partnership. Therefore, I'm very grateful to see ITU is partnering with young leaders, activists and innovators from the start until the end. We need a digital future that is safe inclusive and wholesome. It is my biggest hope today that the outcome of the Youth Declaration will be taken into consideration by the world leaders and decision makers in the room so young people can work together with those decision makers, with those policy makers to achieve a better digital future that we all deserve. Thank you once again and congratulations on a successful summit.